Now it's time for a fail-proof, easy dessert. I have to tell you, with a three-month-old, I am not in a pie-baking kind of mood right now. It's just, it's a little bit Sweetheart, I'm never intense. in a pie-baking kind of mood. <laughs> I'm in the mood to say, Auntie Gloria or Sister Maria, bring me pie. Bring it on over. Bring that on yeah. tonight. Yeah, so this is, to me, a pecan pie, which is, happens to be one of my all-time favorites. My There's husband's, too. Nothing wrong with caramel and nuts in a flaky crust. Um, I'm making a pecan pie pudding. So we are re removing the crust, removing the need for the sort of heavy lift of that, and instead making a beautiful, no one makes homemade vanilla pudding anymore. And it is kind of the perfect food. It's creamy, the milk it's caramelizes. It's delicious. Mm. So I have sugar, flour, and whole milk, and a pinch of salt in here. And Rach, you're just stirring it up. The only trick here is to not let it burn, because then you, once you scald the milk on the bottom, it really, uh, it, it's, it's hard to come back. I better pull this one off then, because yeah, we might have Yeah, we might have let that one go. All right, we're going to pretend <laughs> this one doesn't exist. It's OK. We have an extra right here, because at Rachel, <laughs> at Rachel Ray's kitchen, you never mess up. It's perfect every, every time. All I'm doing is stirring consistently, consistently over a medium-low heat. And then it thickens. Then it thickens. The flour thickens up. I add in, after it's thick, a, a pat of butter. OK. And, or two. And a little pinch of vanilla. And vanilla. And maybe a little more than a pinch. And then if you have it, use it, right? Fresh vanilla. Fresh vanilla bean. I love this. I just feel yeah, like. Yeah, you scrape out all the oh, seeds. Oh, yeah. Mm -mm, mm -mm, it's like French mm -mm. vanilla ice cream. Mm. Put that right and let that perfume up all of that gorgeous little pudding custard right there. And then I've got a whole bunch of toasted pecans over here. Yum. And I'm going to go in with some maple syrup, which again, ooh. Ooh, that's a pleasant sound. I like that. <laughs> and some light brown sugar. And this is going to make us that candied caramel nut. Oh, my gosh. A little pinch of salt, because I think that salt and sweet highlight each other. you got to go they there. They do. I'm going to let this sugar uh, melt down with that maple syrup. It's going to coat those toasty pecans. You're going to come up with, actually, guys, make double batch of this, because it goes really nicely over um, over ice cream, or you can pretend it's granola if you're, <laughs> if you're feeling special. Put it over some Here's yogurt. Here's a pound of sugar and a couple of nuts. <laughs> pretend Happy there's salt in there. That looks gorgeous. Okay. After it cools, after the butter has melted and the uh, pudding has thickened oh, up beautifully, I see where we're going. it we goes put right it in there. This. Do we cool this too? So yes. Yeah, so you'll see after the sugar has melted, which literally it takes about two minutes, it melts, then you let it cool, and it becomes these crumbly pieces of Ice. almost praline. It does look a whole lot like granola. <laughs> <laughs> One could be surprise and I just take it and crumble it over these little pots of vanilla pudding and I have to tell you one thing I love I love not having to make the crust I really love being able to if you're entertaining and lots of people coming over you can you can portion size this you can you put can one big trifle way ahead right you can make you it can way make ahead a giant too. trifle or you can make little cups of it different shaped glasses